chances are you've heard his name before. Joey Gibson is the leader of Patriot Prayer, and he says he's now been charged with felony riot for his role in a violent May Day brawl that spilled out onto the streets. He says it's a move that's purely political, and it's a move he says he plans to push back against. Let's, Let's get right to our Cole Miller. He is live now. And Cole, I know you spoke with Joey on the phone this afternoon. Jennifer, I did, and as we've heard before, he insists that his right to free speech is under attack. Now, I did specifically ask him, did you give any kind of call or directive for violence on that May Day? He says he did not. Now at least one group is applauding the decision to bring that charge against him. For the better part of three years now, we've seen those clashes in the streets of Portland. Anti-fascists and extreme right-wing groups like Patriot Prayer squaring off in the city. On May 1st of this year, this was the scene outside of Cider Riot. It's where Patriot Prayer showed up unannounced and violence soon followed. Now, that group's leader, Joey Gibson, is facing a felony riot charge for his role in what happened that day. You know, this is a complete attack on, on the First Amendment, without a doubt. This is 100% political. They didn't arrest one person um, that was with Antifa or Cider Riot. I'm literally being arrested for standing on a sidewalk. Gibson says he plans on fighting the charge, calling the DA's decision one aimed at keeping him from coming back. And I was ready to be done with Portland, but this makes me want to fight back even more. By fight back, I mean like politically. In the last week or so, police, with the help of U.S. Marshals, have arrested five people in connection to that May Day violence, as well as one from a June 29th protest. And with Gibson now included, the Western States Center released a statement saying in part, quote, we're encouraged that Patriot prayer leader Joey Gibson is finally being held accountable for his actions. In recent years, he has intentionally and repeatedly sown violence and chaos in Portland's streets. Gibson likes to portray himself as mainstream, but violence and hate have always been at the heart of his paramilitary group. And within the last half hour or so, I did reach out to Cider Riot. In the days following that brawl, the owner did file a $1 million lawsuit against both Patriot Prayer and Gibson. As for this latest development, he says he has no comment. Jeff Jennifer, still no sign of Gibson, at least downtown here, just yet. Back to you. Thanks, Cole. And with